first question was pretty poorly answered. It was pretty poorly worded, I think. You probably didn't realise how easy this question was. The first point, you need to have the idea that the hair protects the skin. So the female hair covers the skin, it protects the skin, the male has more exposed skin. So any one of these two answers would have been okay. Now all this question is all about the difference between absorbing or transmitting the UV light. Uh, and I think you really need to be using those keywords, absorb or transmit, when you're actually working with a lot of these questions. This question could have been about any topic at all. This is just about uh, tests. How could they gather evidence to find out which has the higher risk? Well, you're doing a test on human beings. So you don't take human beings and you know, take some of them, put them in a lab under some UV lamps and test them out like that. No, we, we don't try and give humans cancer during science, if you like. So really, you need to be looking at the idea of having a large survey. So the first point would be uh, you doing a survey. Okay, so you're actually looking for people who have cancer or who don't have cancer, and you're looking at their habits and trying to find a correlation in that case. So it's not a, like a lab experiment. Okay, so you need to have a large sample in that case. If you're looking for a correlation in data that has already happened, you need to have a large sample size to have any kind of empirical evidence for your science. Okay, now with these questions, they're generally looking for an idea of a comparison. So compare people who use sunbeds with those who don't. Or a lot of people said with those who spend time in the sun. So you're comparing this. We all have exposure to sun. Not everyone has exposure to sunbeds. So you could, you could have just made that point. The difference between people who use sunbeds and people who do not. Now, this is a pretty tricky question. I think most people got the first point, the idea that darker skin absorbs more UV. Okay, but hang on a minute. Why does that make it safer to be in the sun if you've got dark skin? Well, the point is that actually the layer of skin on top is not kind of living tissue mostly. It's normally dead tissue, it's redundant. But actually, when you get sunburn, it's because the layer underneath has been damaged. So in a darker person's skin, in a black person's skin, they have more mel melanin and that absorbs the light. Whereas in a white person's skin, Caucasian person, then they actually, the light gets through and it damages the tissue underneath. So the second point, and very, very few got this, was that the, uh, because it, the dark skin absorbed more UV, less UV reached the tissue underneath. The cells, you could have said, underneath underlying tissue is the word that we really want to be looking at there. So here the answer was A and C. Which, sun, which of these skin types basically could use factor 10 sunscreen and be in the sun for five hours? Well, this is the recommended save time. The factor you get with sun, sunscreen, the SPF factor, is basically times the save time by the SPF factor. So this would be 10 safe hours, that'd be four safe hours, seven safe hours, two safe hours. So only uh, A and C would be safe for five hours.